If there's one actor who defined what it meant to be the consummate British actor, it was Peter Cushing. With his commanding screen presence, remarkable talent, and diverse range of characters, Cushing left behind an incredible legacy. His remarkable collaboration with Hammer Films brought him widespread recognition, notably his iconic portrayal of Baron Frankenstein and his memorable interpretation of vampire hunter Van Helsing. Plus, he also had a role in a film called Star Wars, which perhaps you've heard of. Beyond his association with those, his talent extended to other genres, showcasing his versatility in playing heroes, villains, and complex characters alike. But his successful career was also juxtaposed with personal troubles, which often brought hurdles in his journey. Join Facts vs. UK as we present Peter Cushing's cause of death 30 years ago was utterly tragic. Peter Cushing's Life and Career Peter Cushing was born May 26, 1913 in Kenley, Surrey. With his distinctive voice, commanding presence, and diverse range of characters, Cushing became one of the most recognizable faces in the horror genre and one of the great British actors of all time. While neither of his parents were actors, Peter had many relatives who were stage actors. His passion for acting was ignited during his school days at Shoreham College. He took an active interest in theater productions and often took on leading roles. In 1935, he made his professional stage debut in a production of The Man in the Iron Mask. Over the next few years, he gained valuable experience by performing in various stage plays, including Shakespearean classics. His ability to portray a wide range of characters, from heroes to villains, earned him critical acclaim and established him as a versatile actor. His career took an important turn when he made his film debut in 1939 with the movie The Man in the Iron Mask. Although the film did not garner significant attention, it marked the beginning of his journey on the silver screen. World War II interrupted his burgeoning film career as he enlisted in the British Army. He served in the Entertainment's National Service Association, ENSA, entertaining troops with theatrical performances during the war. This experience allowed him to further hone his acting skills and build a strong connection with his audience. After the war, he resumed his film career, starring in a series of British productions. Notable films from this period include Hamlet, The Curse of Frankenstein, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. These movies showcased his ability to captivate audiences with intense performances and attention to detail. But it was his collaboration with Hammer Film Productions in the late 50s and 60s that catapulted him to international fame. He became closely associated with the horror genre, playing iconic characters like Baron Victor Frankenstein and Dr. Van Helsing in a series of successful films, including Horror of Dracula and The Brides of Dracula. His impeccable portrayal, combined with his on-screen charisma, made him a fan favorite. He also showcased his versatility in other genres, appearing in films like The Bridge on the River Kwai and Star Wars, where he played the iconic character Grand Moff Tarkin. His passion for acting, nurtured from a young age, combined with his resilience and determination, propelled him to become one of the most respected actors of his time. Peter Cushing's Work Peter Cushing, the esteemed British actor, left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. From his iconic work with Hammer Horror Films to memorable roles in The Hound of the Baskervilles, Star Wars, and Doctor Who, Cushing showcased his incredible range and talent throughout his career. His association with Hammer Film Productions is legendary. He became synonymous with their horror films, delivering captivating performances that defined his legacy. One of the most celebrated was Baron Victor Frankenstein in The Curse of Frankenstein. Cushing brought a depth and complexity to the character, portraying Frankenstein as a driven and morally ambiguous figure. His portrayal set a new standard for the portrayal of the infamous Doctor. And the film's success paved the way for a series of Frankenstein sequels. He continued his collaboration with Hammer as Dr. Van Helsing in Horror of Dracula. His nuanced performance opposite Christopher Lee's Count Dracula added a layer of intensity to the film. Cushing's Van Helsing became a recurring character in several subsequent Hammer Dracula films. In 1959, he took on the role of Sherlock Holmes in The Hound of the Baskervilles. This adaptation of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famous novel brought a fresh take to the detective's character, with Cushing infusing Holmes with a unique blend of intelligence, eccentricity, and wit. 
His chemistry with co-star Andre Morel, who played Dr. Watson, was palpable, adding to the film's appeal. In 1977, he had a memorable role in a completely different genre, the iconic Star Wars. He played Grand Moff Tarkin, a high-ranking Imperial officer with a commanding presence. Peter's performance exuded authority and menace, making Tarkin one of the most memorable villains in the Star Wars universe. Despite limited screen time, Cushing's portrayal left an indelible impression on audiences and showcased his ability to excel in diverse roles. Peter also acted in a spin-off version of Doctor Who in which he played the Doctor. His version of the character was the first to be actually referred to as Doctor Who. Today, there remains a problem of whether this spin-off should be considered part of the universe. Reactions are mixed, but overall, his portrayal of the Doctor is highly regarded by most fans. Peter Cushing loved this role and asserted that his depiction was the proper depiction. His filmography boasts several other remarkable performances. His collaborations with director Terence Fisher in films like The Mummy and The Gorgon further showcased his versatility. His best film and television work spanned various genres and characters. But while it may seem like his career was on a constant upward trajectory, he struggled with personal tragedies. Peter Cushing's cause of death 30 years ago was tragic. Peter Cushing faced his fair share of personal troubles. One of the most significant challenges he endured was the loss of his beloved wife, Violet, known popularly as Helen. They were married for 28 years until her death in 1971 from emphysema. Helen had been a pillar of support for Peter, and her passing naturally left him devastated. But it wasn't just the grief that made his life difficult. Peter battled health issues of his own. In 1982, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer, which came as a huge shock. Despite the illness, Peter remained remarkably resilient and continued to work on film and television projects, showcasing his unwavering dedication to his craft. Sadly, Peter's health declined over the years. He underwent several treatments for his cancer, including surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. And these helped, but his cancer never fully went in remission. Despite the challenges he faced, he maintained a positive outlook and found solace in his work. He continued to act throughout the 80s, and he retired in 1986. He did make one film, which was released posthumously in 1996, called A Touch of the Sun. On August 11, 1994, Peter Cushing passed away at age 81. His legacy continues to be regarded today. His influential performances in the Hammer horror films solidified his status as a horror icon and his portrayal of Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars made him an icon in the sci-fi genre. Cushing was posthumously awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 1996 BAFTA Awards. Truly, he was a national treasure. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Peter Cushing? What do you think was his best role? And how will he be remembered best? Let us know in the comments section below.